no time to be shell shocked. Trouble from those kids. Joe, Frank's still in there. Stop it! Mystery of the Flying Courier. Leads dried up. That's not her, then it's her double. Now we're going to be moving right on down the plot line with some live sounds guaranteed to check out your high speed turns and put you ladies into some zero G pullouts. That's right. Tonight is talent night. How about it? Let's hear it. Hey, yeah. Let's hear it. This hey. is Joe's on. And now, a super stunt flyer who is orbiting higher and higher, grandstanding to a power landing at the top of the charts. It is Bayport's own Joe Hardy. Hey! Run, run, run. 
You don't have the money. Look, oh, babe, I need time. You don't have any left, and neither do I. You keep stalling, you're gonna be doing time. Oh, that sounds pretty heavy. Yeah, it is. I need that money by tomorrow. Look, I can't do it. It's your gig anyway. It's our gig. You jumped at the chance when I gave it to you, and it's our problem. You have to help me. Look, a couple of guys been in here asking questions about you. I don't want any part of it, OK? I told you, you're the one who's going to get shot down. But I can stop it from happening if you help me. Otherwise, you're going to be in as much trouble as I am. Tomorrow. Do run, 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 do run, run, 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 do run, 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 do run, run. Susie is Frank, Frank Hardy. Uh, you've made a mistake. Tell me you're not Susie Wilkins. Come on, pal, drop it. I'm not interested, okay? Okay. It's just that you're a twin for a girl I went to school with. You know, you even sound like her. Well, that depends on how you look at it. The way I see it, maybe she sounds like me. Close your eyes. Tell me that you love me now. Police officers, just like to ask you a couple of questions. Driver's license, please. Undercover cops? What is it? What do you want? We'd just like to ask you about some tapes. Tapes? I don't know anything about any tapes. I don't understand. Now, take it easy. Just tell us where they are. But I don't know what you're talking about. Then I'm afraid you're going to have to come along with us. Better read her rights. Come on. You have the right to remain silent? Excuse me. I know this girl. Maybe I can help. Friend of yours, miss? I've never seen him before in my life. Come on, Susie, why don't you let me help you? My name is not Susie. No, you must be mistaken. I can tell your name's not Susie. It's Sandra. Sandra Walford. Let's go. Now you're going to have to speak up, Frank. It sounds like that phone is wired into an amplifier. Of course, I remember Susie. I spent months trying to find her. Her parents never got over the way she left home. Now, what about her? I saw her tonight here at the disco. Did you talk to her? Is she still there? Yeah, I talked to her, then she denied she was Susie. She's gone now because she was picked up by the police. Well, that should be easy to check. Are you sure it was her? Yeah, her hair color's changed a little bit. She's using an alias. But it looked like Susie. It even sounded like her. I'm sure it was her, Dad. You're over in Valley View, aren't you? That's right. Get over to police headquarters and see what you can find out, and then call me. I cared a lot about that case. About Susie. Yeah, me too. Bye. I'll be back. Back? Why are you leaving? What about Joe? Look, can you cover for me? I think this is important. I'm going to go over to the police station. That girl was in trouble. Wolford in custody. Well, that's just an alias. I saw her arrested. Her real name is Susie Wilkins. We made two arrests this evening, but both of them were men. Maybe it's the state police or one of the federal agencies. Well, I could run an inquiry, check it out. What'd you say her name was? Wolford, Sandy Wolford. And the other one? 
Susie Wilkins. Okay, might as well check them both out. You never can tell people use an alias. It's gonna take a while. Okay, I'll check back. Okay. Thanks. What do you want to do? I want to be with you. want to be with you. He's pretty good. want to be with you. I want to be with you. I want to be with you. Why'd they arrest her? They said they didn't arrest her. What are you doing? Is it that bad? No, it's terrific. All right, folks, back to Earth. Which one? They were all great. Even the ballot? Yeah, it was dynamite. I didn't do a ballot. He wasn't here, Joe. Callie, I know. You mind if you tell me what's going on? Yeah, official business. Do you remember Susie Wilkins? From Bayport. That's a tough request. Did you settle for Sweet Betsy from Pike? Come on, Joe, I'm serious. Isn't she the one who disappeared and who was just arrested in the parking lot? Arrested? Well, you just said she wasn't arrested. Well, she's using an alias. I went to her car to look for some identification, and it was gone. The parking lot attendant said it had been towed away. Well, I'm finished here. Let's go see if we can find it. Come on. challenge them on that. I'd rather not be here. I'd rather we'd gotten here before they removed the plates. Keep an eye on I'm gonna check out the car.
Joe, what are we gonna do? Oh, Joe, what about me? Frank! Here, give me a hand, you two. <sighs> Frank! I thought you... I thought you were in there. I did, too, for a minute. Frank, you scared us half to death. Almost three quarters. I'm okay. Let's go. Why do I get the feeling that this was a lot easier on you than it was on us? <laughs> well, I must admit I was a little concerned when you first walked in. But what you've told me certainly explains why you all look as though you'd been fighting the 94th Squadron instead of dancing in it. I admire your persistence, but uh, that was a dangerous thing to do. I know, Dad, but I think it paid off. I found this in her car before I jumped. What's this? It's Susie Wilkins' paycheck stub. Well, this could be the best lead I've had on Susie in three years. I'll run a check on it first thing in the morning. <laughs> I just knew you'd need a lift, that's all. Do you know something about my car? You know, you brought this on yourself. Come on, get in the car. That's right, Susie Wilkins. The employee ID number is 6489. I see you're positive of that. Can you tell me who does have that ID number? Okay. Thank you very much, Captain. Captain Phelps cross-checked the name with the employee ID number. And Susie Wilkins is not and never was an employee of East Coast Airlines. It wasn't her. Then who was it? This belongs to a stewardess named Sandy Walford. That's just an alias. I'm positive it was her. It had to be. Son, I have faith in your judgment. You know that. But we have two pieces of ID to the contrary. And I've got 10 minutes to get to a meeting that's 20 minutes across town. Well, maybe your family's heard something. I don't want to contact her family yet. It may not be her. And it would be cruel to get their hopes up. Sandy Wolford, Valley View. What do you think, Joe? You think it's safe to show your face back in Valley View? We'll have to get a police escort to protect me from the fans. Well, if you need it, you've got it. That's a promise. What are you guys up to? We're going to find us a girl. Maybe two. See those men out there, Sandy? You know, just about every one of them has a family to support. As do my men, and a half a dozen other plants just exactly like this one. What does this have to do with my car? We well, see, when I'm short on product, you know, I actually have to lay some of those poor guys off. Now, am I making my point? I need those tapes, Sandy. I told you my terms. If you don't like them, you're going to have to get them yourself. Oh, that's true. But I'm going to tell you one more time, sweetheart. I do not want any direct contact with those ding-a-ling, talky radio types. They have trouble telling the difference between teeny boppers and FCC commissioners, you know? Then you'll have to deal with me, won't you? Oh, yeah. Yeah, and it's been a real pleasure up until just about right now. Come on, I'm going to take you to your car. I 
you I'd take you to your car. Don't you recognize it, Sandy? I don't think that's very funny. Oh, come on, Sandy. It's a little red one right here. Why did you do that? Well, you see, when I couldn't find what I was looking for, I got a little angry. That happens when I think a friend's been lying to me. I'm not lying to you. Those tapes are more valuable than the others. Maybe. But I got a strange feeling that something's going on. I mean, you didn't go to the cops, did you, Sandy? You know I wouldn't do that. Oh, that's right. We were more than business partners, weren't we? So, trust me. Oh, I do. You just bring me the tapes and I'll know everything is just fine. Otherwise, we're going to play patty cake with another car. And this time, somebody's going to be in it. Now, do you understand that? You know I don't have them on me. I just need a little more time. When? Where? Tonight, at the disco. All right. I'm going to be there. And you better show up, because you're a fool if you don't. See you, Sandy. Tidy either, is she? Looks like your room. Never mind that. Television, stereo, still here. It's not your ordinary robber. Whoever it was had to be looking for something. Some really fine stuff in here. It's pretty fancy on a stew's salary. This is the same tape the tail gunner was playing in the disco. Echoed blast. Pre-sale over a million. Aren't these sent out to key disc jockeys ahead of the release? Someone like tail gunner. She must have known him. Where else could she have gotten it? She must know him pretty well, too. Gunner. Didn't find him, huh? No, you were right. I told you. She's not bluffing. The tapes are in a safe deposit box, like she says. Last night, she didn't have a key on her. She was convinced we were cops. We took her for a little ride and pressed her, but she wouldn't budge. Answers my question. Yeah. I think you better take her seriously. Oh, I am. Then why not just give her the money, get the tapes back, and forget she exists? Where is she? Well, we decided not to keep her. That would be kidnapping. That's a lot heavier than impersonating a cop. Mm. She was pretty scared, though. Yeah, well, the trouble is, so am I. You know, she could put us all in jail. She's so shook that 
Well, she's ready to deal with whoever pays her price first. Well, then, I guess we'd better do something about her, huh? driving last night when they arrested Susie. You know, maybe this isn't such a hot idea. I'm the one that almost bought it in the wrecking yard last night. I say we go inside, carefully. Come on. Uh, guys, we're closed. We're looking for someone. Her name is Sandy Walford. We thought she might be able to tell us where we could find her. Why me? Well, she said she was a very close friend of yours. <laughs> yeah, well, all the little girls do. Yeah. Uh, you don't know her? Casually. Oh, we'll see you. Excuse me, buddy. He's low on ammo today, isn't he? Yeah, blanks. Every one of them. I wonder why. Let's find out. Yeah, at the Reverb Studios. Okay. I'll pick it up in ten minutes. See if we can find out what Susie was doing here. She left the table for a while and then came back. She stayed for a couple of minutes and left on the run. I wonder why she came back to the table. Get her purse? No, she had it with her. She sat down, powdered her nose, and left. Why would she come back to the table to powder her nose? Exactly. I'm gonna look around here. Why don't you check the console? Come out now. Come on, this is no time to be shell shocked. Somebody might have heard that alarm. I'm not shell shocked. I found something. Come here. Guess who was sitting here last night? Susie. You mean we found what those guys were looking for? Sounds like your police escort is here. Never break a promise, do you, Frank? If you'd supplied the mob of screaming fans, we could say we're in here hiding from them. What do you mean, we? Then you went there to find that girl you were asking about last night. That's right. Do you know this young lady? Sandy Walford. Any idea why she was arrested outside your discotheque? Well, I've made my inquiries. Neither the state police or any federal agency has any knowledge of her whereabouts. She wasn't arrested or anybody that bears her description. Those men had badges. They identified themselves as police officers. They may have used the badges as a way of convincing her to go with them, to abduct her quietly. Considering the other incidents that have taken place, I'm afraid Joe's right. I think she's in danger. Now, my men have all this information, and they'll find her if she's in Valley View. But what are these other incidents? Well, last night her car was towed away, searched, and then destroyed. 
Your dad mentioned that when he called this morning. We're working on it. Today, her apartment was searched and almost destroyed. Well, now, this is the first I've heard about that. We think this is what they were looking for. I thought those markings looked familiar. This keys to a safe deposit box at Valley View Federal. I've got one there myself. What do you think, Captain? I think we've got enough reasons to take a look in that box. Oh, uh, thanks for coming down, Mr. Turner. I assume you're not going to press charges since there was no harm done. No. No harm done. Goodbye. I'll, uh, I'll be seeing you. Yeah, put me through to Judge Benton, please. Trouble. From those kids? Yeah, and the cops, too. You mean she gave them the tapes? She didn't have to. They've got the key. They're gonna get the tapes. Now, according to them, someone has to be pushing Sandy from the other side. That's heat I hadn't figured on. Come on, let's go. Now, let's see what this is all about. Looks like somebody beat us to it. Well, let's get a look at the signature card for this box. That number sounds awfully familiar. Yes, here it is. Miss Walford was in just about an hour ago. It seems she had lost her key, and after she properly identified herself, we had to open the box for her. Well, the signature matches her previous ones. Can you describe her? Certainly. Uh, rather tall, dark hair, fair complexion, a very attractive girl, pretty. She had a rather low voice. Yeah, that's her. She must be in real trouble. She might have been abducted, maybe escaped, and came here to get some money. And now she's on the run? Yes. It's for you. Yeah. Okay. Well, we're going to find out. We just picked her up at a movie theater. Thank you. All we want to know is, are you Sandra Walford or are you Susie Wilkins? Yes, I am Susie Wilkins. Uh, it's really touching that so many people are interested in my well-being, but as you can all see, I'm just super fine. How is it you were arrested and I can't find a record of it anywhere? I was picked up by a couple of federal hot dogs. They realized they made a mistake, they let me go. Your car, you know it was demolished. Been trying to get that clunker towed away all week. Susie, your apartment was turned inside out. The key to your safe deposit box, we found it at the discotheque. Boy, you guys are something else. Tell me, Captain, do you have any reason to keep me here any longer? No. No legal grounds. Because these amateur detectives have caused me enough trouble. See, I was about to enjoy a movie. And if you don't mind, I'd like to split and catch the next show. Susie, we were just trying to help. Yeah, just like your father three years ago. He had me on the run every minute until I established a new identity and became a stewardess. No, I don't need any help. Are you sure? Are you sure you're in some kind of danger? The sooner I split, the sooner my troubles are over. Bye. Getting late. I gotta get back to rehearsal at the disco. Can you get a ride back by yourself? Yeah, I guess I could if the guys in the band. My brother. Susie? Susie, look, I didn't mean to interfere. It's okay. Forget it. All right, can I give you a ride anywhere? No, I'll be fine. All right, I'll see you. to accept your offer. Where to? Uh, just up ahead. I'll show you. All right, what is it? 
Tell me. Look, you can trust me. The man that's following us, who is he? It's, it's Quentin Miles. He, he's into a, a lot of businesses. Like the wrecking yard? Yes. What else? Come on, Susie, which one are you involved with? Records. He manufactures illegal records, too. He's a record pirate. Right. So why does he want to hurt you? I'm the go-between, Frank. I get the demos for him. From Tail Gunner. That doesn't answer my question. Well, I told Miles I'm holding back his copy of the demo to get more money. There's got to be more to it than that. Yeah, there is, and Miles is suspicious. But it's all going to be over in a couple of hours. I'm splitting for good as soon as I sell the tapes back to Tail Gunner. Sell the tapes back to Tail Gunner. Sounds like you're gonna get more than you paid for them. Why are they so valuable now? Because they're a trap. He didn't know it, but I found out after I sold them to him. I heard another demo in California. It was different. How was it different? The first track was different than it was here. I called three more DJs who had the same demo, and all of them had the tracks arranged in different sequences. So the recording company coded the tapes? so they could identify which disc jockey was supplying the pirates. Right. And if I sell them to Miles and he makes records out of them, they'll know Tail Gunner was the source the minute they hit the market. Then it'll all come down. And you're in the middle. More than you think. They don't even know each other. Oh, Frank, I, I don't want to go to jail. I ran away from one at home, always being told what to do, how to dress, who to be. Who are you, Susie? Do you know? Used to be so together, so perceptive. What happened to that person? I, I haven't been together for a long time, Frank. I didn't even realize what I was getting into. All I wanted to do was get the money and get out of here. It's all right. I want you to tell my father everything you've told me. He'll know how to handle this. What do you want? Look, the cops have the tapes. I told you, I don't have time for you. I got to get out of here. No, they don't. Wait. What are you talking about? Well, of course they have it. The, the, the kids found the key. But I beat them to the safe deposit box. I have the tapes, and I can meet you tonight. You have the money with you? Yeah, yeah, I have it. Um, OK, I'll be here.
think Susie's gonna show up here? She can't go to my house. She's too afraid. The only person she can go to for money is the source of the demo tapes. The one who's gonna be hurt if they're released. Tail gunner? Yeah, the one and only. All right! All right! Yeah, now that was the lightning. That was the lightnings with thunder in the machines. Great sounds for the hip towns. So now it's time for live jive on 72.5. How about that, huh? Okay, and Joe Hardy has returned to base. He's gonna play it right in your face. Stick around and catch the show this time. As the old king would say in command decision, get your barber deers up here and drop it on them. That's right, Eddie. That's right. Come on. Hey. But you know, you don't have to worry. Police, what are you talking about? What is this, some kind of a game? Miles. Hey, Joe, you're supposed to be singing. caused a real riot. <laughs> Tail Gunner the Tape Pirate. How do you like that one? <laughs> you know, I can't decide whether you shot him down or sunk his ship. <laughs> if you ask me, you should have bailed out either way. And on that note, I think I'm going to do the same. <laughs> Susie has been doing that for too long. Well, it's never too late to stop. What Susie told Judge Benton this morning was the best way she could have done it. Well, with the support of her friends, her testimony, and existing circumstances, he should be lenient on her. <clears throat> there are two people that you left off your list, Frank. Her parents. She talked to them this morning. After this whole thing is over, she's going to be spending a lot more time at home. This is a song we worked out just this morning. Feel free to clap your hands, do whatever you feel. It's called That's Rock and Roll. Come on and dance with me. Come on. No, 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 I can't. I played at parties, played in bars. I spent my money buying new guitars. I screamed my heart out, but I loved it. That's rock and roll. Come on, everybody, get down and get with it. Come on, everybody, get down. That's rock and roll. It's when the smoke.
Oh, oh, oh. 